Let's do some flashcards on states of matter for T's chemistry. What are the most important states of matter to know for the T's? Solids, liquids, and gases. What does it mean if something has a definite shape? It means that the shape doesn't usually change. So, which states of matter have a definite shape? Solids. Like this rock. Sure, you can bang it or crush it, but normally the shape of the rock doesn't change. It's definite. Okay, what does it mean if something has an indefinite shape? It means the shape can easily change. So which states of matter have an indefinite shape? Liquids and gases. When you put liquids or gases into a new container, their shape changes to match the new container. Indefinite shape. Okay, what's volume? It's the amount of space something takes up. And what does it mean if something has a definite volume? It means the amount of space it takes up doesn't normally change. It doesn't just get bigger or smaller. So, which states of matter have a definite volume? Solids and liquids. They don't usually grow or shrink. The amount of space they take up doesn't change. Okay, what does it mean if something has indefinite volume? The amount of space something takes up can change. It can get bigger or smaller. So which states of matter have indefinite volume? Gases. They can expand or contract to take up different amounts of space. What does it mean if something is compressible? It means you can squeeze it into a smaller volume. Which states of matter are compressible? Gases. Only gases. So, which states of matter are incompressible? Solids and liquids. Two more terms you might see. Which states of matter take the shape of their container? Liquids and gases. That means their shape changes to match the container they're in. How about which states of matter take the volume of their container? Gases. Gases can expand and contract. They can change their volume to fill different sized containers. Okay, let's review. Characteristics of solids. Definite shape, definite volume, not compressible. Liquids, indefinite shape, definite volume, not compressible. And gases, indefinite shape, indefinite volume, and yes, compressible. Hey, this might take a little while to learn. Just practice. Watch this video a couple times and I promise it will stick. And if you like how I teach, check out all my T's chemistry resources at teasinone day.com. Okay, back to studying. You got this.